Hello and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to be talking about something that's kind of typical and that is how to find um, nether fortresses in uh, Minecraft. So obviously they are for your survival quite important really but yeah I'm going to be uh, taking you basically uh, through a bit of the history of nether portal generation, how it is now and how to explore them once you get there. So first of all obviously you need to pet the cat. Um, he's been meowing whilst I was setting up and you know very cute. First of all obviously if you want to find another fortress you need to uh, find a nether or get to the nether at least and you do that by making a nether portal so a nether portal is at least four blocks wide and five blocks high of obsidian although the corners don't need to be um, obsidian they can be any other block that you want um, obviously because I'm in creative mode and have unlimited obsidian I can make this and you like this by using either a flint and steel or a fire charge so obviously again because I'm in creative I have a very fancy setup here Oof. Okay, so here we are in the nether. Uh, first thing you want to do before you go finding anything in the nether is take a note of your coordinates. Uh, you can do that by using F3 in Java Edition. I don't know about Bedrock Edition. I don't really play Bedrock Edition for good reason. Um, but yeah, especially with the new nether update 1.16, um, the nether is far more difficult to traverse and you can get disorientated quite quickly. So yeah, so essentially how are nether portals, uh, fortresses rather, generated? So before they were generated in kind of lines going north to south, so what I would do, say I um, started a new survival world, I'll go to nether and what I'll do is I'll travel either east or west and then I'll find another fortress and if I find another fortress, you know, I'd explore it for a bit and then if I want to find another one, i just go either north or south. However, um, in 1.16 they completely revamped how they spawn I believe they actually made them spawn more frequently, but there are now what appear to be rules regarding um, how to find them. So first of all, what we need to know is that I have a low render distance um, here because I'm recording and my laptop can't really handle it. Obviously, if you want me to get a better computer to have full render distance, um, then subscribe and share. But yeah, seven chunks. If you um, actually want to explore, this is not just for nether fortresses but exploration in general, you should ramp it all the way up or as high up as you can. Second thing to note about nether fortress generation is that um, they are what appear to be biome specific, so they tend to only spawn in three biomes, so the first one is this one, the soul sand valley, this is quite easily characterized by the soul soil, uh, soul sand and fossils, there also will be a lot of uh, blue fire or soul fire, be careful of that, it does twice as much damage. Um, but um, ghasts and skeletons uh, generate or spawn here more often as well. Obviously I'm in peaceful so I don't get um, loads of mobs um, lagging me out. But yeah, so you, there's a chance for you to find the fortresses um, in the Soul Sand Valley. Second biome that you can find them in is the Basalt Deltas. This is like very obvious what it is. So there's Basalt, there's loads of Blackstone, there's loads of Magma and there's loads of Lava. Um, in my, uh, it's called, uh, basically, if you're on survival, this is very, very difficult and uh, dangerous to traverse. You also have here um, a lot more mega cubes spawning, and they will hop onto you and deal a lot of knockback, and into you go, uh, into the lava you go. Not very nice, but um, at least another fortress spawn here. Third one is the nether waste, so that is just the normal um, nether from before, loads of nether rack lava etc etc nether quartz and so on and so forth now when i say oh yeah so the two biomes actually that they don't spawn in are the crimson forest and the warped forest now when i say that they don't typically spawn in, i mean they won't spawn in the middle so they could actually spawn in for example nether wastes and they might encroach onto a crimson forest or warped forest and hint hint that's what's going to happen in this video um but uh if you're, for example, in the middle of a warped forest or crimson forest, then don't really expect to find another fortress there. I would suggest that you um, leave that biome and you, uh, you know, look elsewhere. So as far as for my tips for exploring them, or for trying to find other fortresses, just stick to the nether wastes. They are far less perilous than the Soul Sand Valley and the Blackstone, uh, no, Basalt Delta. And also, it's far easier to see along so you can spot them with your higher end distance. Now, luckily, I have found another fortress. Here we go. And I've kind of outlined what you should do to explore it. So, first of all, this is 
like a tip for exploration in general, especially in caves, nether fortresses, um, what do you call it, a stronghold, which I might make a video on soon, um, torches. Now, for me, I always put torches on the right as I go forward. So, for example, I start off here, I know my nether portal is in that direction. So, say I want to explore another fortress without having to remember, you know, all the turns I'm making. Just put the torches on the right as I'm going, and then if I want to go back, simply keep the torches to my left, like so. Okay. So, um, exploring the nether fortresses. There are kind of three main things that um, are quite important for your survival. The first one is the blaze spawner. So, you usually find them at the end of uh, long walkways, so for example like this. And you can see here, there's a blaze spawner. Obviously, like I said, I'm in peaceful. This can be a good um, source of blaze rods. I like blaze rods because that means I can do potions, and I especially like um, making potions of weaknesses, um, golden apples to cure villagers. Hence, that's a very good thing to do in survival, especially in Java Edition. If you get villagers that are cured and give you good trades, you are basically set for the entire game. And I've also made a video on that, on how to cure and get good trades for villagers. It's my current most uh, viewed one, so I'll probably put a card to it if I can be bothered. Or rather, if I can remember. But yeah, they're also a good source for blaze powder, which you get from blaze rods. So when you uh, want to go exploring and trying to find a stronghold, they're very useful. And also an XP farm. If you want a small, cheap XP farm, um, then yeah. Okay, so the second feature is... Uh, well, as you can see also here, putting torches. Oh yeah, as a side note, you can see here there's a warped forest. So this is the edge of the warped forest, and as you can see, then the fortress kind of encroaches into it, but um, not quite. So that's something to bear in mind. So for example, if I was like deep into the warped forest, I wouldn't expect to find one uh, or another fortress, but since I'm in the edges, you know, there's a chance to find it. So the next two structures that are kind of important in the fortress are the chests and the rack farms now as you can see you can't see any here and that's because they are found not on the exposed walkways but rather down below so what you want to be looking for is this structure here which is stairs i mean it's quite obvious so if you go in here again torches so i know which way to exit you can see that there are stairs not all of them lead to um what you want so for example this leads to your death which you probably don't want in survival but i mean you play the game how you want to but that's lava not good um but if you keep going around i think there's also lava here if i remember correctly oh no here we are so you can see here there is a um nether wart farm i mean it's not much of a farm but um nether wart grows fairly quickly and has a fairly good yield and it's very useful for making potions so not potion of weaknesses but if you want potions of slow falling our uh, fire resistance is very useful if you want to do further nether stuff um yeah and they can be grown in the overworld as well so if I were you, take even one, because you might not want to make potions right now, but the soil might be, um, the nether, or, uh, yeah, nether warts might be useful, so take one, take some soil, uh, sand, and, uh, get farming. Now, they also have chests, again, these are in the walkways here, um, these have some good loot, saddles, horse armour, um, you can get those from villagers, although it's leather horse armour you get from villagers, not, um, better horse arms but you can get saddles and villages and um, but they also have iron diamonds sometimes etc um and like i said a good tip for exploring you know, the fortress is torches torches everywhere um if i didn't have torches i would have been lost and you don't want to be lost in the other that's a very bad because everything can kill you well i mean there are a few stuff that can't kill you but hey ho so yeah i mean i think that's pretty much it for exploration um and find another fortresses so if you liked this video uh, make sure to subscribe and share amongst your friends and yeah goodbye